Now, I know what you're thinking. Why jailbreak a calculator? There's there's no point. You can just run programs off of it anyways, right? There's no need to jailbreak it. Well, not exactly. The story behind that is a lot more complicated than that. And the more I looked into the scene, the more I realized how it's not any different from the other 20 modding scenes that I've seen before. Yeah, running custom programs, games, moddable tools, and a bunch more in your calculator has been around for decades. But jailbreaking calculators just wasn't a thing until just a few years ago. And the big reason that this is happening is about reclaiming a feature that these calculator companies sold to them, but then took away after they purchased the device. This is the last place I thought this would be happening in. Yeah, as it turns out, there's a pretty big calculator community that really cares about their calculators and follows all the software updates and everything. Like seriously, the announcement of the TI-82 was like their PS5 moment for them. <laughs> and for a really long time, being able to just install custom programs in your calculator was just a given. It was actually encouraged by companies like Texas Instruments. But over the past decade, there's been more pressure on big calculator from administrations and exam boards to remove the ability to install programs for fear of cheating. Now, I want to put this up in the front of the video because there is a well-documented history of YouTubers unfortunately creating misconceptions of what's possible with calculators. So just to be clear, this jailbreak doesn't allow you in any way to cheat. This is not a way to bypass exam mode. And as it turns out, the calculator community is very anti-cheating. There's like this unwritten rule to not create cheating programs just out of ethics reasons. And asking for cheating help anywhere in the scene is just like begging to be kicked or banned or made fun of. And funny enough, there's actually a spike of new members in Discord servers every single year around fall time, with most of them just asking for cheating help. So don't do not do that. Also, there is an exam mode on all the big calculators that prevents cheating. Like this is actually required by law in a lot of countries to have on your calculator. The thing is teachers just don't use it or know that it exists. If someone wants to cheat, either they didn't use exam mode or the teacher didn't bother to learn how to use it. That's on the administrators to know how to use their tools, not on the people who just wanna make little programs. They're entirely separate. Now, here's where it gets just ridiculous. In 2020, a teacher explained how he was able to bypass exam mode on one of the Texas Instruments calculators that was already patched for two years at that point. And from almost out of embarrassment, TI finally decided they had to do something. And instead of just informing administrators and boards to ensure that their students' calculators were up to date, they push an update that completely removed the ability to add programs on your calculator, stating that after careful consideration, we made the decision to remove ASM functionality in our latest OS update to prioritize learning and minimize security risks. That, that had nothing to do with each other. And the community at the time was not happy. Bad move. Bad move. Stupid move. Dumb move. It's just a crappy move and makes absolutely no sense and makes no difference whatsoever. And really all that's serving to do is antagonize that community that has been around for so long and put them in a position where they might start trying to break the security rather than protect these secrets. I cannot stress this enough. This is absolutely retroactively removing a feature that they actively marketed as a selling point of their devices. Hmm. Where have I seen that before? Okay, but whatever, we just won't update. We could easily get around this, but we don't want to try and poke the bear. Let's just keep our calcs on older firmwares and enjoy our programs through there. And then Texas Instruments decides that running any game on your calculator from that point forward would void the warranty of your calculator. Yeah, okay, yeah, now you're starting to see what's happening now. So the community acted pretty fast and decided their hand was forced here and created a jailbreak to bring back the ability to reinstall programs onto these calculators, a feature that for some users was still advertised on the box that they bought the calculator in and all was well again, but the distrust was still there and it seemed like unofficially that the community and its relationship was in a don't tread on us and we won't tread on you type of thing. And that brings us to this year when a YouTuber posted a video about cheating on a TI-84 plus. And again, pressure was put on TI to do something about cheating. Ah. So they released another update that patched the jailbreak. Only this patch didn't actually patch the YouTuber's exploit since he used hardware to modify the device. Also, you know the really dumb thing about this? That's not even the same calculator. <laughs> so in reality, the patch only further hurt the legitimate community while doing nothing to actually fix what the YouTuber did. In fact, you can go buy one of these pre-made calculators right now. I have no idea why this dude still has the source code up for this. So we've seen this story a lot, unfortunately a company retroactively removing features that were advertised to sell the product and the community having to take back the basic features that they were promised when they bought the damn thing. But they worked fast. And three months after the patch, there's already a new jailbreak for this, which brings back programs functionality and gave me an opportunity to really dig into the calc scene and show you everything that's possible on your calculator. 
And just to be super clear, jailbreaking is completely safe. It won't mess up your calculator. It's just to bring back the ability to reinstall programs. And if you're super paranoid, you can just delete the jailbreak at any time. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the most popular calculator you'll see around the TI-84 plus colored edition. Is that the right? No way. We're not, they don't actually call. Okay. I just checked. It stands for color enhancement. Not okay. Yeah. Cause I was going to say, Jesus Christ. You might've seen its older brother around a lot more. The OG TI-84 plus. Yeah. I definitely had this one in college cause it was the only one that was allowed in class. This one is also moddable, but we'll talk a bit more about that later. This CE version is basically the next one in line with a color display and a bit better processor. So it's important to note for some calculators, you might not actually need to jailbreak. They never remove the ability to install apps on older firmwares for some reason. If you want to check what firmware you're on, you just hit second, then plus, then the about page. This one is 5.8.2, so it's a pretty new firmware, so it can't install apps on its own. Fortunately, jailbreaking is stupid easy. It's literally just drag and dropping a few files. Let me show you. First thing we want to grab is Artifice. Uh, that's the jailbreak for this calculator. I'll link it in the description. We also want to grab the TI Connect app. This will let us install stuff into the calculator. Okay, we're ready. Let's plug in our calculator. So the jailbreak is going to come in an 8xp file. Get familiar with this extension. It's basically the APKs of the calculator world. Anyways, we're just going to drag and drop that over to the calculator. Let's go check and see if it's installed. You're going to hit program and just hit enter three times. And if you see this, congrats, that's it. You're jailbroken. So now you should be able to install apps again. Okay, let's plug this back into the computer to install one more thing, CE libraries. This is a bunch of files that a lot of apps are gonna need to actually run on your CE. Same thing, just drag and drop it into your calculator. Okay, now we're ready. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna install is a shell. Think of these like front ends, but for your calculator. Think like emulation station or RetroArch or Steam big picture mode, but for your calculator. I'll leave links to a bunch of these in the description, don't worry. Navigating to your apps in a normal way is kind of messy and not really intuitive, so a shell is going to help you put everything in one place with some added extra features built in. By the way, you install them exactly the same way as any other app, don't worry. Then you can launch them up by hitting programs and launching it here. Now everyone has their own favorites, but I'm going to show you a few of the really popular ones, like Cesium. This one is most people's go-to, it gives a much cleaner layout to everything, and it's much more organized than navigating your calculator the old way. I personally really like this one called Seashell with a C that presents your apps in a really nice grid icon and you can customize it with a bunch of different color schemes. It's really cutesy. Vision V2 tries to directly replicate the look and feel of a proper desktop setup and it is really strange seeing this on a tiny screen, but a lot of people like it. You can even change the wallpaper too if you want. Also check out this super weird macOS Monterey shell. I don't even know what to do with this, but funny enough, it does come pre-packaged with some extra apps that you can use. Oh, right. Okay. Let's talk about the apps. So there are a lot of different apps that can be installed on the CE. Some add functionality to your calculator, while some are really just goofy, fun stuff apps. Yeah, I'm doing all right. For example, there's an app called Math Tools. It's really nice. It's like a smarter calculator with a bunch of different features like an equation solver, linear equations, and even a calculator. Finally, a way to solve math problems on your calculator. All right. Then there's a pretty new app called Leaf Editor, which is a really modern looking text editor app that you can store small notes in. This is already built into the stock calculator OS, but this one has a lot more features like special character support and even a nice way to customize the theme. It's a really nice experience. Wait, hold on. What's this? Oh, hey, that's a script for today's sponsor. That's right. I'm going to read the whole sponsor segment off of the calculator. Let's go. If you hate having to call around for doctors, wait around on hold, hoping that somebody picks up the phone, uh, booking appointments, and dealing with all of the insurance shenanigans on top of that, you should really try ZocDoc. ZocDoc is a completely free service that makes finding any sort of medical professional way easier. You can search by location, by specialties, and you can even filter by what insurance you have to find a professional that's local or online. You can check out patient reviews left by real patients, and when you're ready, you can book right then and there and see them usually within 72 hours of booking. See? Done. Easy. Don't have to worry about calling around anymore. And with lots of different professions from over 100,000 verified providers from general doctors, dentists, dermatologists, eye doctors, and a lot more, you're bound to find someone that you like. If you've been putting off seeing a medical professional just because you can't seem to get around to it, scan the QR code right here and just try it out. It's free. And thanks again to ZocDoc for sponsoring this video so we can keep making cool videos like this. So by far the biggest appeal of apps is the games. 
Because this calculator can run some of the popular programming languages, people go out of their way to try to demaster popular games and port them over to the CE. For example, I ran to install Celeste when I saw it as an app. I played a little bit of this off camera and for the first 20-ish minutes, I was stuck on the very first level because, you know, I'm playing on a calculator controller, uh, not even like real controllers. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually not that bad. Oh man, it, the controls are so slippery with a calculator, I'm sorry. Flappy Bird! Yeah, you know the one. Fun fact, this game was actually the main cause of my first breakup. Well, actually, maybe, maybe that's not a fun fact. Oh man, bro, there's no way. There's actually no, no way, dude. Ain't no way! <laughs> I, I want to see your favorite streamer play Geometry Dash on the calculator, see how good they can do. Also, fun fact, they never actually updated the hardware for this thing uh, for like ever since it came out. It's just been the same hardware and this thing came out in 2015. So this is 10 year old hardware. This is, not, this is not just calculator hardware. This is 10 year old calculator hardware. Here we go. All right. All right. No. Oh God, whatever. There's another level I want to try. Oh, look, it actually keeps tracking your progress. That's crazy. Now, the fun part is, is that this actually has its own level editor, too. So you can like build your own levels and then sub, like, you know, you'll play them on your calculator if you want. I don't know who the hell is doing that but it's 100% an option. <laughs> oh, we're cooking now. Here we go. What? This is Oriami, a really nice platformer about a plumber who likes to jump on turtles and collect coins. There's also a lot of custom maps for Oriam that you can download and install onto the calculator. This is straight up like Mario Maker for calcs. <laughs> That's crazy. Ooh, ooh, well this man can run, but can he jump? He can. I wonder if they got the secret where is it? It's somewhere around here. You know, the secret, uh, the secret question mark. Come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Legally distinct from Mario, of course, we would never go out of our way to display trademark protected Nintendo content. That would be, that'd be crazy. Anyways, here's Pokemon Crystal running directly off the calculator. This is really weird seeing this running here, but it's all possible thanks to an app called TI Boy, a Game Boy emulator that is surprisingly incredibly robust. Like seriously, this is really impressive for a regular port, much less a calculator port. It's got pretty much everything you'd want, rebindable keys, a turbo mode, color palette changing, and save states on a calculator. It's actually regularly updated, and it recently got an update so it can not only run Game Boy games, but Game Boy Color games. I don't expect this to ever run Game Boy Advance though. That's, no, that's, that's way too much for this thing. They even have an online ROM and save converter where you can just drop in your ROM and it'll convert the game into a bundle package you can just drag and drop over to your CE. Now these games take up a lot of space relative to the calculator. Expect only to get like two games max running on this thing. But it's still really cool that they managed to get something this robust running on this thing. But of course, the big question, can it run Doom? Kinda, a stripped down version, but not really. <laughs> okay, listen, even the original Doom required a minimum eight megabytes of RAM. The CE has like four, <laughs> and it's being shared with the rest of the operating system. Now there are some homebrew ports of Doom for the calculator, but they are really not Doom, if that makes sense. <laughs> The closest thing I was able to replicate really was this Game Boy Color homebrew port of Doom, but even this one is really bare bones. Oh, and there's no guns in this version, so uh, that's coming later. This is about as good as we're gonna get, but hey, I I'll let you decide. Does this count? Now, there are other calculators that I wanted to cover, but I just, I ran out of time. Uh, but just know that there are other modding scenes for the original TI-84+, Plus with their own set of games that don't require a jailbreak to play. I mean, look at this stuff. Some of this is just ridiculous and the TI Inspire CX, which has considerably more RAM than most calculators, which means you can do a lot more cool stuff with them. Well, used to. They also have their ability to install programs taken away, but there's a jailbreak for that one too called Endless, and they have their own story that spans over like two decades at this point. This one has way better hardware than most calculators, so there's a lot more interesting stuff you can run on these. I actually bought this one too, but you know, time constraints. So let me know if you wanna see a video on that. If you want to find more places to find cool stuff and figure out what the calculator community is up to, here's a few suggestions that I have for you. The Chemitech forum has been around for a very long time and are constantly posting news about projects that are going on in the calculator scene. You can just go to the download tabs and find most of the stuff that you're looking for. There's also a GitHub page with a lot more downloads and programs and tools for a big range of different calculators. It's a great starting point to figure out what you want to do next. There's my calcs, which is like straight up my anime list, but for calculators and TI calc, which I won't lie, it looks a little outdated, but it's the biggest host of calculator programs. I found a lot of really cool stuff in there. Also, there's an awesome video running through the entire timeline of the TI drama from start to finish that I'll link in the description. Last Millennial and a lot of other contributors helped a lot with the research of this video. A lot of these groups also have Discord servers, but these guys are like 
really into IRC over there for some reason, which hey, I, I can respect that. But I'll post some communities that you can check out in the description. Believe it or not, calculators are actually how a lot of people end up being programmers. Yeah, it turns out having less than 150 kilobytes of data to work with forces you to be really creative. And while my relationship with my calculator just ended at buying whatever they had at the college student store and being done with it, a lot of people are really passionate about these things. And there's a lot of different calculator scenes, each with their own stories and issues that it's had to overcome to get to this point. It's really cool seeing this scene mod their way out of situations like this just so they can go keep their community alive. Like you'd be surprised what you can do with really low powered hardware like this. Like for example, I was able to take one of these cheapo Amazon Fire tablets and jailbreak it to turn it into a stream deck or a second monitor or a lot of other things. They're constantly going on sale too, so they make a great secondary device once you mod them. Uh, click over here, I made a whole video on how to jailbreak these Fire tablets. It's really, really cool. And thank you for watching.